Hello. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Susan, and I love to do these little houses. These are little homes for fairies, elves, or gnomes. They're made out of things that you can find outside and inside your house. You will be getting some wine corks and you'll be getting some tracers. And those tracers will be very useful for the roof and for the floor. Also, you'll get papers to use in case you don't have any lying around. Some things that you'll need to do this project that you can easily find around your house. A pair of scissors that fits well in your hand. You've got Sharpies of any color, black being the preferred color. Pen or pencil to do your tracing, so make sure you have one of those. Elmer's glue works well, but it takes longer to set. So if you want to do it faster, these are the types of glues that you could find if you have them around your house. If you're very careful, you could use a hot glue gun, but if you've never used one, make sure your parents do it for you because those can be dangerous. You can get burned. Now there are additional things you can get that you find either outdoors or at a store. There are things such as washi tapes, um, I like to take walks and find things in nature like this really teeny tiny little acorn top and I found a top that had a top so I'm going to use that today. Sometimes you'll find a feather or you can find these very easily at craft stores. And also if you have sequins, stickers and various other things, those work very well too. Now that you have these, you can lay them on top of the paper that we give you. This one happens to have hearts on it. And I do it on the back in case I make a mistake. And I lay it right on and hold it with one hand and trace with the other. Lay it down. And this one reminds me of that old game, Pac-Man. Maybe you've heard of it. Well, now that this is on, you cut, 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 cut. And when you're all done, you'll have a roof and you'll have a floor. Grab the cork and some glue, and I would pick the smoothest part of the cork. Let's get a little glue on. And I'm gonna hold it down, and if you use your Elmer's glue or any of those glues, you'll still have to hold it for a little while too, but not too long. To start decorating, we will grab a Sharpie. I like to start with a fine point so that I can really see what I'm doing. I'm going to draw what looks like a big upside down U. So if you look, you can see a thin line, but now I'll make it even thicker. I might make a window that's round. I might make a little handle. And now if I want to, I can color my door. So now we have a door. The door has a teeny window, but that's not enough light for fairies and elves. I'm gonna make a window right on top. Guess what? They have second floor. And now we have a window for them to look out here. All right, so now we have our little Pac-Man. Flip it over to the back side, and I'm just gonna lay a little line of glue here. Now you can make it as tight as you want, as long as it fits over the cork. Let me show you how to add the roof. So what we need to do is make a little circle of glue. We'll pop it right on as straight as we can. This is the coolest acorn cap I've ever seen. And now where it touches, we have glue. I'll hold it for a minute or two. Ta-da! All done. Here are a couple of samples. I can't wait to see what you do. Have a good time and thank you so much for joining me for the making of Elf or Fairy Homes today.